If I had wings like Noah's dove, I'd fly to my true love's home. I'd walk the porch from post to post. I'd hang down my little head and cry. Me and my woman, we had a little falling out. She bundled up her clothes to leave. Then she stepped on that two o'clock train. Honey, I stepped right on to the three. Okay, everybody, that was a little introduction to a great piece of music called Old Reuben. People also call it Reuben's Train, Train 45. Uh, occasionally, you'll hear it um, called 500 miles, 800 miles, or even 900 miles. Uh, when I learned it, of course, I learned this from George R. Gibson of Knock County, Kentucky. And when I learned it from George, he just called it Reuben. And he actually, I remember I was, I think I was maybe 14 years old. And I said, uh, he said to me, he said, do you play Reuben? And I was like, no, um, that's one I haven't been able to figure out. Um, and he was like, oh, you haven't been able to figure that out? It's one of the easiest tunes there is. And, uh, and it is. And George even told me that he believes this is probably the first tune that he ever, very possibly the first tune that he ever learned to play on the banjo. And it is very simple. So the first thing we need to do is get our banjo in tune. Uh, the relative tuning is F sharp D, F sharp A D. Nothing to it. So get your banjo in that tuning and, and we'll, we'll dive right in and I'll show you how to play it overhand and I'll show you how to play it two finger. Now also I will say if, uh, if you really want to see the tablature for this, a link will appear right up here in this corner. If you click on that link, it'll take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very modest contribution, uh, less than the cost of a beer or a cup of coffee per month. You get the tab for this and every other song that, that you see taught here. So I'll show you the overhand style first because I think that's what most of you are familiar with. And it's very simple. Um, you've seen me, you've seen and heard me play this, I presume, if you're here trying to learn it from me. And I throw a lot of embellishments in. Some of those embellishments I picked up from um, home cassette tape recordings of Banjo Bill Cornett, who was also of Knock County. Um, but most of my version and most of my embellishments come from George Gibson. If you're not familiar with George, you can hear him play this song and many others on his album, which is called Last Possum Up the Tree. Last Possum Up the Tree. You can stream it up for free on Bandcamp right now. Okay, so you're in this tuning and basically most of what you're doing is you've got your, uh, your left trigger finger is on the third string at the second fret and then your middle finger is coming down and, and noting that third string at the third fret. So you're doing a lot of that. Um, and and then you're hitting the bass string open. That's the whole song, y'all. You can play Old Reuben completely on the open bass string and the third string noted at the second and third fret alternately. And then it's really up to you how you do it. I mean, I played it a lot of different ways. So, but you basically, you started off by doing a, 
by uh, noting with your index finger and hammering with your middle finger. And then you're going to do a pull off with your index finger. And then do another hammer on. And then bass string open. So that gives you Old Reuben had a train, ran from hell to Betsy Lane. I like to been a driver on that line. And long steel rails and short cross ties. I'm walking my way to my home. Nothing to it. listen to George play it especially, he throws a lot of left hand activity in there like he always will. So you'll get a... One of the variations is you, toward the end there, you come in and, and note the bass string at the third fret. I would walk to my true love's porch. I'd walk the porch from post to post. I'd hang down my little head and moan. So that's one variation where you can come in and note the bass string. And then a neat variation that I learned from George directly is where he goes, uh, One thing I should note too is anytime you're just sort of hitting open strings and you're just trying to ride the rhythm in this song, like between verses for example, the chord that you're holding is just, just mash down the third string at the third fret. That gives you this neat chord. So you'll, you'll often see my middle finger going back to that, yeah, that's its home for this song. Um, anyhow, but to get, to get George's little run there, which is a nice little change because otherwise um, it can be a real uh, sort of repetitive basic uh, song but George will come in using his ring finger and he will pluck do a pull off on the first string at the third and then he will do a pull off on the second string at the third and then a pull off at the third string at the second so you get and go right back into it This just adds a little uh, depth to the flavor of the song, so to speak. One more thing I need to mention um, about this song, and George, not only does he do this when he sings it, but um, he also told me this verbally. He said that most of the old timers, people that he learned from growing up around southeast Kentucky in the 30s, 40s, 50s, they would hold um, out some of those. So they'd say, Old Reuben. He had a train, you know, old Reuben had a train, run from hell to Betsy Lane, I liked to been a driver on that line, the longest train I ever saw, and ran down that brown cove line. Fastest train I ever saw Cared away that good woman of mine Poor boy So that's that's the basic rundown. I mean and overhand or the two finger is the same, you know. I do that 
that little riff different when I when I two finger pick. I always do something a little different. So when I do that little that neat little lick two finger, I like to do a double note on the first string. Then I like to harshly bend that second string, and then just pluck off on the third string. I'm actually doing a, a hammer on there. Anyhow, uh, come up with, with something that, that you like. You don't have to play it exactly like me. You don't have to play it exactly like George Gibson or any, any of those other old masters from back in the day. Then they wouldn't want you to play it exactly like them either. They want you to come up with your own, your own way to do it. Um, come up with some of your own verses. And uh, that's another great thing about old Reuben is that it's got so many verses. You can, you can sing so many different themes to it. Um, Anyhow, just a real neat song. And although a lot of you know the words that we have for it today are about railroads and maybe coal mines and and stuff like that, um, it because it's so simple and it's so dark and bluesy sounding, and it's found all over the Southern Mountains. A lot of people think it it probably represents a pretty early piece of banjo music. And it also it only requires you know two or three strings to actually play the song. Anytime you encounter a banjo song that requires very little noting of the left hand and you can just play it on really two melody strings, two or three melody strings, that's an indicator that it may go back to a time before the banjo had standardized set number of five strings. So it's probably a very early piece of music with more modern uh, 1870s railroad period lyrics put over it. Okay, I won't keep you any longer. If you appreciate what I'm doing here, if you'd like to see more of it, please give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel here. Um, I've already given you the Patreon link. That'll pop up too if you want to directly support me or get a hold of me or get the tabs for this and other songs. Uh, the best thing you can do for our heritage, our tradition here is share this with somebody. If you know somebody who wants to learn the banjo or who's struggling with it, share this video with them. Okay, thanks for looking.